People love to hate Windows 11, but guess what? Soon we'll have Windows 12 to complain about. Well, maybe not soon, but it's definitely coming. And today, we're gonna talk about it. Stay tuned. That's right, Windows 12 is due to be released in late 2024. We honestly don't know much about it. In fact, we don't even know if it's gonna be called Windows 12. Currently, it's simply referred to by its code name, Next Valley. Luckily though, we do have some leaks as well as some comments from Microsoft about what we can expect in Windows 12. However, being its release is still a little under two years away, pretty much everything we're talking about may not be true by the time it's released. Remember, when Windows Vista was known as Longhorn, one of the most touted features was the WinFS file system. This was a database layer that sat on top of NTFS that would have given Windows a very efficient way to search for files. Unfortunately, that never happened, and to this day, Windows could definitely use an improvement to its search, but it is what it is. At least Windows 11 search is a lot better than 10. So we should really take news of Windows 12 with a grain of salt because ultimately we have no idea what the operating system is actually gonna look like once it's released. But it's kind of fun going over rumors anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. So yes, Windows 12 is slated to be released in late 2024. This will put Windows back on a three year development cycle like it was prior to Windows 10. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this because I've come accustomed to the rolling release that Windows 10 was. On one hand, as a computer tech, it's guaranteed business when operating systems go through a development cycle because at the end of that cycle, there's lots of people that need to update to the newest version of Windows in order to keep receiving updates. However, on the flip side, having a unified operating system makes it a lot easier for Windows users because Windows 10 just went through a slow evolution and there wasn't any big changes every three years. I mean, you still got changes, but they were smaller changes over a shorter period of time. It wasn't like having a completely different operating system every three years. In fact, from what I understand, originally the Windows 11 UI was going to be an update to Windows 10 before it became its own operating system. I think this might have something to do with some of the animosity that people have towards Windows 11 in the first place. Windows 10 was released in 2015, and for six years we had the same version of Windows. Even though Windows 10 changed a considerable amount in that time, it was a slow, gradual change over a longer period of time, and it didn't trigger people. You know, like the people that don't like change? So this animosity compounded because Windows 11 came out and we're already talking about Windows 12. But for people who have been in the industry prior to Windows 10, this is the way it's always been. So then the closer we get to Windows 12 release, the more we're going to find out about it. And the more we find out about it, the more people are going to talk about it. So then what exactly do we know about Windows 12? Really not that much. We can only assume that Windows 12 is going to be a free update for Windows 10 and 11. I think we can pretty much confidently make that assumption because it's been Microsoft's policy at least since the release of Windows 10. Another thing that I think can be assumed is that Windows 12 will likely have a faster adoption rate than Windows 11. And I think this is because Windows 10 will lose support shortly after Windows 12 is released. So many people will simply skip Windows 11 and go straight to Windows 12. One of the features coming to Windows 12 that we don't have to assume about though is AI integration. At CES this year, Panos Panay with Microsoft was talking to Linda Su at AMD talking about the hardware and software that will bring AI to the desktop. Does this mean that instead of Cortana we'll get some version of ChatGDB? Uh, I don't know, but according to Panos Panay, we're going to see artificial intelligence like we've never seen it before. I honestly don't know how I feel about that. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but at the same time, it's kind of terrifying, isn't it? I wonder if these people have ever actually watched movies like Terminator and The Matrix. Allowing computers to think doesn't typically work out very well, but I guess we'll just see how it goes. If we become slaves to the machine soon, then I guess we had a good run.
personally, I think we should slow our roll in regards to AI. I, I just think we should think about what we're doing before we jump headfirst into this, but I'll save that topic for another video I'm working on. Moving on though, at the keynote at the Ignite 2022 conference, Microsoft was showing off features for Microsoft 365, and they may have accidentally given us a sneak peek of Windows 12, at least the Windows 12 UI. In the presentation, they showed a screenshot of the Windows desktop running Microsoft Teams, which was presumably Windows 11, but it had some pretty specific differences that led a lot of people to believe that this screenshot was actually the Windows 12 desktop. Unfortunately, as you can see, this screenshot isn't great. However, some people on Reddit have taken it upon themselves to recreate this screenshot in a higher resolution so that we can get an idea of what the differences are. As you can see, the taskbar at the bottom isn't docked to the edge of the screen anymore, but instead it's floating at the bottom of the screen. Also, across the top, you can see the weather to the left as well as the Windows system icons and clock have been moved up to the top right hand corner. You can also see a distinct search bar at the top center of the screen. I'm not sure what to think about this UI yet. I can already tell you that I don't like the stuff at the top of the screen, but I do like the floating taskbar. Hopefully all this will be customizable. If Microsoft doesn't make it that way, then we'll figure out a way to do it anyway but I have no doubt you'll be able to turn off the weather icon and the search bar because you can do that in Windows 10 and 11. However, it would also be nice if Microsoft allowed you to move the system icons and the clock back down to the taskbar at the bottom. <laughs> but you know, I can seriously see this being a thing. Now Microsoft won't be accused of making Windows look too much like an Apple. No, now it looks like Android instead but we're just going to have to wait and see. This might be one of those issues that we run into with Windows 12. I mean, you still can't move the Windows 11 taskbar to the top or the sides of the screen. So maybe Windows 12, you'll be stuck with the clock at the top right hand corner. Who knows? There are many features I would like to see in Windows 12. I don't know if Microsoft watches these videos, but if they do, this is the point where you should probably take some notes. Some of the things that I think would be nice to see in Windows 12 would be for one, usability at all performance points. For instance, there are some services that simply are not necessary based on a person's hardware configuration. I mean, Windows is already smart enough to know not to defrag an SSD, so why not shut off the system main service if an SSD is detected? Or even have a more scalable Windows search service that doesn't beat the crap out of the system if you only have a dual core processor. Th this would be doable. I mean, Microsoft definitely can make that happen. It would also be nice to see a version of Windows without all the bloat. I realize this is probably not gonna happen, but it would be nice if Microsoft didn't include sponsored apps at the absolute minimum. I mean, you know, we don't want Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all pre-installed on our computer. Uh, you know, it's great that we have those apps available, but let us install them if we want them. Another feature that would be really cool in Windows 12 would be better phone integration. I use an app called KDE Connect that was originally created for the KDE desktop environment in Linux. Luckily, this app is available in Windows now, and it's a great way to interact between your phone and your computer. If I get a text message, I have a notification come up on my Windows 10 desktop. If I snap a picture with my phone, I can share that picture with my computer. It's actually a pretty powerful program, but features like this should already come built into Windows. I mean, who doesn't use a smartphone and wish it was a little easier to have your desktop and your smartphone work with each other? I mean, obviously Windows 12 is gonna look like Android anyway, so you might as well integrate Android at a higher level, right? Another feature that I think would be really cool to see in Windows 12 was the ability to use classic modes. I don't know how many people watching this video remember Windows XP, but when Windows XP came out, it had a new start menu at release and a lot of people didn't like it, but Microsoft gave you the option to go back to the classic start menu from Windows 98. How cool would it be if Windows 12 was able to switch the UI to like Windows 10 mode or Windows 7 mode? I bet you that one change would make Windows 12 12, the most popular version of Windows to ever hit the market. I mean, seriously, it could blue screen every 10 seconds and people would still like it better than Windows 11 just because of that one feature.
Okay, all right. I might be exaggerating just a little bit, but Microsoft, seriously, make this happen. Give us classic desktop modes. But either way, that's what we know so far. The closer we get to Windows 12 being released, the more we're gonna find out about it. Maybe we'll even get lucky enough to get an early beta leaked like we did with Windows 11. And also, I just have to reiterate, I'm dead serious, Microsoft. We need classic desktop modes. Seriously, let's make this happen. But in the meantime, if Microsoft doesn't make that happen, then check out this video where I show you how to make Windows 11 look like Windows 10. I'm sure I'll be doing another video just like that when Windows 12 comes out. But as always, you guys have a great day.